What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are in Adobe Edge Animate as well as Dreamweaver and two folders and a website. Okay, what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to take this animation that I did a lesson on earlier, except that I made this one smaller with a width of 389 by 60, as I'm going to have this load up on my website. I didn't want anything huge as the, the website is like the sister site of darkeffects.net it's actually darkeffects.com and so this one right here is going to be where i'm going to be having uh, lessons and so forth that's going to run off from this site and so anyway this banner right here which is this that right there simple it doesn't do anything else is going to be i've already um, created or published it and so it's inside of the published folder right here. And then what I did is that I just chose these files, dragged and dropped them over onto my web server. And then Windows 7 asked you a lot of questions. So this right here is my web server. And this right here, of course, is the HTML file. And this is the mock-up of the website that I'm designing. And uh, I just got the domain name today, so I'm just trying to put together a website for it. So I'm just making a quick little mock-up for it. And so these are my files. And let me open up Notepad. The only thing that I'm wanting to grab a hold of is I'm wanting to grab a hold of this right here. I'm gonna copy it go inside of my HTML file from a website and then paste it in right there. Okay, and then save it. Also, the this part goes right up here up top and just paste it right on in there. However, I do not like having my files sitting right directly inside of my web folder. I love to organize my files around. So inside of my web folder, I'm going to create a JS folder. And each one of these files right here, including that folder right there, gets dragged into that folder. See, that's no longer needed, so that can be deleted. Okay, now what we got to do here is that we got to go inside of the JS folder. Uh, this is very important if you want to actually relocate these files. You preload your uh, whatever the, the name of your published file was, which I named my one.html. So your edge preload.js, you drag it in here, and it looks like a lot of gibberish. But what we're wanting is right down here at the bottom. What we do is that we grab a hold of these right here, and then we add JS to the beginning of each one of these. Even those, even though these are inside of a, um, are inside of the JS folder, whenever the page runs, the page is running from. Let's go ahead and save this. The page is running from this folder. Its source is coming from here, but yet it's being fed from here. So then whenever we run the page, it's supposed to run. So there must be a problem. Hang on for one second. Let's figure this one out. Okay, I figured out the problem. Back over here inside of our JS folder. Bring up a notepad again. Drag it over here. Come down. Grab a hold of this and make sure you got them all every single one of the files that are inside this folder need to have js forward slash added to the beginning of it once we've got that added to the beginning of it then we can load it and then maybe we won't and then the last thing we got to do is come over here and add the js forward slash to this and then we load it ha okay wasn't that exciting <laughs> so anyway what you have to do is that you got to make sure that if you're going to relocate them into another folder, you want to work with your preload.js. And like I said, whenever you open it up, all of your files that you want to work with are right down bottom. It starts off with your the jQuery 171 
and then your easing, your edge, your Jason, your edge, and then your edge actions. Each one of them have to have JS forward slash at the beginning of it as well as your header tag here for your JavaScript. All of them have to know that your files are located inside of your JS folder. So anyway, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net and that is how you uh, put your files inside of your new web page as well as adding your files to a folder. So anyway, y'all have a rocking week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.